Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn where it's the day before I have to leave for work. It's the night before rather. And I'm just having a grand old time sitting on the floor breaking my back playing this game. And trying to be quiet so I don't wake up the entire house. Um, but yeah. Off to the proving we go. Let's see if I can get items. I'm running desperately low on items. I need some fatty stuff eventually. I should just use my spear. Basically, this run, I'm gonna be <laughs> just looking for resources. I'll leave the boars alone, though. I need some of those trees. Don't hurt me. Go, turkey, go. I'm, I'm glad there's still turkey in the future. At least they still have turkey. Can't eat machines, but you can eat a turkey. Let's see, this should be... yeah. A stick resource. Turkeys making your weird turkey noises. Like the plants blend in, but they're distinct enough too that I can see them without there being without them being flagged a little bit. Not always, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm missing a bunch, but Um hang on, actually. I would like ten of those. Like, I should be prepped. Yeah, I shouldn't need the trip caster, right? I hope not, anyway. anyway. You must speak. Okay. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? I don't want to leave you! What should I expect once I'm inside? There'll be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Okay. I don't... Yeah, he can't expect her to just give up on him once she's I'm in I'm ready there. to do this. See you back home in a few days? You 
will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this. Oh my gosh. He's gonna, like, go away? Or what? That's the necklace he gave her when she was a baby. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No. You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. Oh my gosh. This... He can't just do that. This is goodbye. He's her dad. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. I will. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. She's never even had a mom, and he's like the only dad she's ever had, and he expects her to just be like, oh, sure thing, buddy boy. But this is also... I have to let him go. For now. Right. She's gonna find him again. Is... First, the proving. Yeah. After that, I'll see where he's That's the plan is. at this point. Um, for sure. Whew. This is stressful. My, my social anxiety is kicking in. <laughs> I've only been playing this game for a few hours, and I'm like, ah, oh, people. You will turn back, outcast. You spoke to me. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way. Make way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart Hi. is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Uh -oh. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. You what? Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is oh, is it the boy that I saved? Down the. You want me to have a good time in an area where people hate me? <laughs> this brings me back. Oh, um. Uh, and that was better than the proving itself. The band? I guess. Oh, hi, person. Proving's open to everyone. Enjoy yourself, girl. Okay, now everyone's gonna be nice to me? Aloy! It's Dude, you, isn't it? What the thing is. Over here. You haven't changed at all, my boy. Like, at all. You literally haven't changed. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again. If you came to run in the Proving. Their clothes are so cool. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. 
I serve the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. Okay. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. Really? I hope you like it. No way! What? What's it going to cost? What? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. <gasps> Wait, just this one? Nora Brave, this one? Okay. A new Nora Brave's armor, attached by tab, accentuated by alloys and design. Okay. Um. Oops. Equip. Yeah. Cool. <gasps> oh, you can see it before you put them on. Oh, cool. Ooh, wow, that's cool. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Yeah, that's creepy, man. Thank you, Tab. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every okay. outfit <laughs> offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. Thank you for you turning your head. Museum. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Oh, okay. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe. Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly. <laughs> rocks. Hopefully not spears. Guess it's a humor. In any case, be ready to duck. Yeah, my brand new clothes. Oh, sorry about that. Too much stew. I and just. Beer. I just. Mostly beer. Oh, uh, hang on. Let's see. Can I upgrade this outfit? Oh, I can. Or no. I can't. Me. I I can have the modification. I have a modification slot on this one, but not this one. But it's not letting me do anything with it. So I didn't change a whole lot. Made it bluer. Hmm. Okay. Treasure box. Ooh. A generous reward box. A health potion? What? What? Hang on. Oops. Oh, but it kind of keeps it for me then. That's nice. I don't know what to get rid of, so I'm not going to. Didn't I upgrade my inventory? Nope, wait. Outfit satchel. Okay. Okay, there we go. I mean, I could just wander around, theoretically, but... Oh, what's this? Storytellers! Nice. So everyone's just chill with me being here. Like, I don't, I don't really trust this. Is it perpetually winter as well? By the way, everyone's outfits and hair is like legit. Interesting. <laughs> Interest fire. Interesting. Jog. Get down from there. Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? No, no, you're not. Get down from there now. Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. What I want is for you to climb down. What you want is for me to have no fun at all. Are you too Fine. married or are you the kid? Stay up on the roof all night if you want. Yeah, I will. Okay. I wasn't Listen drunk when I ran the proving. Now. 
matter well, what. You'll have to tell this when I'm gone. This time. In the beginning, these blood all life came from all, from all mother. Bast's a bully. He won't last a minute against Bala. Not in a real all fight. All were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These do I know these stories at the all? The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided, a world of metal. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them. Oh, uh so there was a robot uprising. Them a life of ease, of plenty, and so the faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible, monuments to their sins. But they would not serve the faithless for long. A oh. king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other. The Metal Devil. Devil! The Metal Devil! The Faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her, and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down forever. As you know, for his lifeless body oh, was what? there still, frozen in shame Wait, where? and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities forced to wander the world without the care of the machines only we remain the true children of all mother we built all this with the hands that she gave us machines are to be hunted metal to be used for scrap for craft but never to be adored and we stay true to her laws resolute in our prayers don't we for the dangers are never this over. is a really interesting society still, the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it oh so there's still faithless out there the machines anger grows searching for little more boys and girls who have not repaid. what is that a machine among us now no no these old eyes are <laughs> the kids are like no <laughs> no no grandma oh, listen carefully now for you'll have to tell Interesting. In the big Aloy, over here. Oh, hi. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Thanks, man. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Uh. So, Mother's Heart, I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, <laughs> can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. Nah, man. I won't hold it against you, if you give me a discount. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. I'll try. Uh, I think See I'm good. First. Good luck. Are you like winking at me or what, man? Or is it a glitch or do you have an actual facial tick? Are the Karsha the faithless? Or who's the faithless? In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. 
<coughs> An enunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. Of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and Slavers! Yeah! Killers and Slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance Hold your Lord. fruit, Nora... Uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocity. I don't trust you. Yeah. I don't trust you. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th kid. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Enemy? Evil of the Nora. On the eve of your. Oh! He has one too. The card just stands with you. As the sun's light frames the stoutest tree. As those. Focus. Take their just places like mine. among your braves. We join your prayers. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, yeah. I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... Yeah, I do not trust I'll you. He's back. a slave. Wait. That no. guy is a slave. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> You're a liar. Hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. Yeah. It looks great on you. Thank you. What else do you know about Owen? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. <laughs> well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. He's uh I've never slave. seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. I might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. You're just sizing everybody up. This is ter This is a terrible idea. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure thanks. I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? Questions. I wanted to ask you something else. If you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. No. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh. 
Yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But yeah, well, we're not slavers. Outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? No. Nope. Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. It didn't work. But for years, he thought? raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrifice, I was going to say, no. No. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Wow. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's his story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Nah. Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. <laughs> <laughs> his mouth. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. <laughs> Who are the Asaram? Well, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. It's and nice. Freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Hmm. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? <laughs> First I've heard of it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous. So long as you were smart enough to jump out of the way. Your mouth has stopped working. Okay, there it but goes. But then the derangement starts up and... Everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and Except for the right horse ones. A few more years pass, and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. Hmm. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines so start So, there's something... Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. N influencing like these things? Statues. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse. Comes and something's along. creating Isn't something it? as well. So what's making it happen? Is there like a hidden no machine or a factory? And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Maybe there's like a hidden factory that's like started up. Somebody started it up, or like some sort of program started it back up again. Something from the old metal world has started back up again. The Devil King. Or a minion, or the Devil King is apparently dead, and apparently his corpse is like on the mountainside, which I haven't seen it, but um, interesting. It could just be it probably is just an some sort of AI protocol that's like started something up again, and it's like gradually introduced a virus, maybe. I'm, I'm stretching now. I don't know. Introduce some sort of virus, maybe, or maybe they're just regressing to how they used to be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking. Tell now. me about the derangement again. Oh, whoopsie. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, when a hunter came, so it was hard. But then the now, when a few more years passed, if that wasn't bad enough. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten. Years. So what's making it? Happen? No one knows. Karja. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about I that. don't trust you. But besides, the Karja don't just fight. They build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Yeah, is that a city? Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? 
Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to uh -oh, though. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. I don't trust you, like, at all, my man. Like, you're way too smooth of a talker. Like, I don't. I'm sorry, I just don't. Um, especially because you scared Olin away. And, like, I don't know, you did something to his focus that made him go, you know? <laughs> made him go away. Um, he was definitely dressed in very basic attire, very slave looking attire. Um, but yeah, I don't, there's something else I was gonna say. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Um, is there more Tell to ask? Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, okay. he's scouting. I've known him for a few. Okay, I should go get a blessing. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... Yeah, you shouldn't. It's obvious that you don't no. belong in this backwater. No, you maybe shouldn't say anything. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. <laughs> uh, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll you show you know how hot you are. It'd be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around. Maybe. Maybe if you didn't have mutton chops, guy. <coughs> oh, but also the city. They're building. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. They're building the city too big. Um, they're they're falling into the same trap that they did back in ye olden days, I think. Because the only way to build something that big, perhaps, is by using the machines, not just harvesting them for parts. So, ho ho ho, ho buddy. Olin, are you around, my friend? No? Okay. Well, I'm gonna call this part here. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. See, now we're getting a, like, political intrigue again, like... Man. Oh man. Oh boy, I don't even know. We're just getting into stuff, and there's, like, a devil king and an all-mother, and it's, like, man versus metal versus nature, or, like, some combination thereof of, like, nature, man versus metal, or, like, man and metal versus na- Ooh, man and metal versus nature! That's gonna happen at some point for sure. It's gotta happen. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call this part here. Things are getting super cool. So thank you guys again for joining me. I hope you're enjoying, and I will see you in the next one.